Hey guys, this is Amber from the Happy Caravan. I'm a mom of 10 kids and we live in New York City. And I'm gonna show you guys what we eat in a week. Today is Wednesday, and this is the first day of our food week because we go shopping on Tuesday. So Naomi is making one of our best loved foods. It is the corn chowder, Barefoot Contessa corn chowder. So what did you put in there so far? Um, well, I cooked bacon and it's right here. But okay, and that's supposed that's to be like a bacon garnish grease. afterwards, right? Bacon, grease, and olive oil, and butter, and onions. Mmm, bacon, grease, olive oil, butter, and onions, and it smells so good in here. Um, it's actually really good. All the kids really like it. I like it too. It doesn't feel like health food, but it's very yummy. So we ended up using a whole pack of bacon, and a quarter cup of olive oil, and how many onions? Do you know how many onions we put in there? Four onions, there's a lot of onions. And then she's gonna put a little bit of flour in there. To uh, how many tablespoons? Uh, half cup. Oh, half cup. Wow, well, okay. Half I think cup that's of. What it says. <laughs> this is the. This is the original um, Barefoot Contessa. I think this is her first book. Let's see. I know my mom always loves to make the coconut cupcakes from it. It's super yummy. There, are, there is healthy food in there, but it's definitely not all health food. <laughs> a lot of it's just like really good comfort, like yum food. Okay, so she's putting in the, the half cup of flour. I'm just gonna make it all thick thick and yummy. So she's putting in two teaspoons of kosher salt. I'm not sure what's different about kosher salt, but She's definitely bigger. Yeah, bigger grains, I guess. And some freshly ground back black pepper too, right? Yeah. This is my favorite meal. Aw. <laughs> yeah, it's very yummy. It's very sweet and good. So she's putting in half a teaspoon of turmeric. Helps it everything be very beautiful yellow. <laughs> so now we're supposed to cook it for three minutes. So I'm gonna do that. I mean, it's already been cooking a while. Yeah, I guess yeah, it has been cooking so about three minutes. So, so she's putting in the, the potatoes. I think it is. How many potatoes is that? I think it's um two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds of potatoes. So we're supposed to put in 12 cups of chicken broth, or chicken stock, I guess. So thankfully with these Costco ones, that just means basically three of these, because there's four cups in each. Is there any more Mexican rice? Uh, I took it to work. Oh, man. <laughs> just a little bit. Here we had some leftovers from yesterday. So we're supposed to bring this to a boil and for about 15 minutes it's going to cook and that, it's going to allow the potatoes to get um, tender. Um, that's kind of the next step of the soup or the chowder. So we ended up getting three bags of corn because there's actually supposed to be 10 cups so hopefully that's the right amount. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Did brother take you on a walk outside? Sure did. Did you enjoy it? No. No? <laughs> I think you did. You didn't enjoy it? I think you did, no. Moses. Mo just turned two. Did you just turn two? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> he's being a fussy man. Mm. Do you want cheese? You want yeah. cheese? It's okay, like I'll four of these. Oh yeah, we're Let's looking for our one cut measure. <laughs> I don't know why. So we're putting in the. But, but. Oh, you get milk? You know what? That's half and half. It's kind of no, like milk. It's, not. it's like rich milk. 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 It looks like milk, huh, Mom? Milk. 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 Mm. It's in the soup. Is it in the soup, Moses? Milk. Yeah, milk. Milk. <laughs> So we're also putting in the, um, most of the cheddar, and that's going to melt into there. It's going to be yummy. Demo. He saw that half and half and said he wanted some milk. Because it looks like milk, huh? <laughs> so 
So this actually is milk. Is that good milk? Milk. Milk, yes. Mm -hmm. Milk. So it's finally ready and it tastes so good. I had a little, a little tiny taste. And then you just put a little bacon on top to garnish it. And he was making her beautiful bowl over here. A tiny bit of cheese and it looks so beautiful. It looks like the, looks like the picture. Good job. <laughs> Bacon. You say bacon that. and cheese. Uh, cheese. <laughs> yes. Like soup, Moses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like soup. Mama. So mom's, mama's gonna try it now. Hmm. Very good. Good job, guys. Mom, mom, mom. You like it, Mom? Yeah. You good? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Thursday night. We are making stuffed pepper casserole. It's from Temecula Mom Blog, I think, or Temecula TemeculaBlogs.com. And um, Sarah from our tribe of Minnie made it. And when she made it for her family, she made three, and she's like, oh, that's too many. I used to, I used to make two, and that ended up being too much, too many as well, so I just do one, and I serve it with bread, and it ends up being, sometimes we even have leftovers. It's very, very filling. I think we do add a little extra, like our meat is a little bit more generous than like what the recipe says, and also we probably also add a little bit of extra cheese, so it's kind of like probably 1.25, <laughs> but, um, so what it has in it, of course, is um, peppers, and it, is, it has it's supposed to have one and a half green peppers. I put two, so it's cheating. And it has ground beef and diced half a diced onion. I think we just put a whole one. Olive oil, garlic minced, diced tomatoes, spaghetti sauce, garlic powder, salt, seasoning salt. Teaspoon of pepper, chili powder, cooked rice, and two cups of mozzarella cheese, and mushrooms, which are optional. <laughs> but, wait, what else are we supposed to Oh yeah, and then garlic salt. Okay, so the mushrooms, some of my kids don't like mushrooms, but I do put them in there anyway, and I just, I let, I let them. So a lot, most of my kids like them. Chloe is not a big mushroom fan, but she's, <laughs> She's very sweet, <laughs> and she doesn't throw a fit about it. Anyway, so she just takes it out, but you don't have to add the mushrooms if you're not a mushroom person. So for the rice, we are using this Della organic light brown rice, and um, so we're gonna put that in the Instant Pot, which makes it super easy. Okay, so here's our two cups of brown rice. Wait, make sure this is a cup major. <laughs> it's very hard to find. Uh, and then Mark has taught us a trick, a quick trick. What we're going to do is we're actually going to speed this up so that it's ready faster. And um, Chloe's going to put some water in the hot water pot so that we actually, if we put hot water in here, it just cooks faster. <laughs> so last night, Mark and I were having a romantic walk and somebody was donating books. And this is one of them. It's the big Chinese coloring book for little hands and it's really cool because it like teaches uh, like simple Chinese characters and so forth. It even explains like how they originated, which is really cool. Um, yeah, they just color in it. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if they're learning Chinese, but they're just coloring in it for now. And the other one is <laughs> this Andy Warhol coloring book, which they're also just kind of going wild in. But you know what? It was free. So, not gonna complain. <laughs> All free today. That's in um, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, right? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we used to watch that all the time. Anyway, so Mark's doing his. Oh, are you rinsing it? I already rinsed it. I'm just draining it some more. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, He's, he does a better job at cooking than I do. But I still try. E for effort. I like he likes my cooking, he says. <laughs> 
<laughs> you might be lying. <laughs> anyway, so here's the ground beef. This is our Costco brown beef. It's a little over a pound. It's like 1.3 pounds. So, but I mean, rarely when you pick up beef, is it ever like exactly a pound? Um, and then we're slicing up the bell peppers. Um, so yeah, so I would, I think it's like 1.5 or what, you know, you know, it's just double. Did you put one cup of I rice? put, oh no, I put two cups because it says two cups. Isn't it two cups? Is it four cups of cooked rice? Oh, two cups cooked rice. <gasps> I did a boo-boo. I made too much rice. Okay, sorry. Well. We'll save it. Yeah, we'll save it. <laughs> okay, so that's, that was tricky. Okay, so it's one, it's two cups of cooked rice. But I put in two cups of not cooked rice, which means it's gonna make probably about four cups of cooked rice. So we're gonna have some leftovers. So <laughs> my bad. Sorry, Mark. That's Messed okay. you up. We'll save it. We'll save it. We'll rice for later. And then we need to put some salt in there, right, Marco? Like a teaspoon or so. Heaping teaspoon. Heaping teaspoon. Yeah. Make it. Tasty. Do we put? Do you put a little bit of oil in there, like a little bit of canola? Yeah. Okay. It worked just fine. <laughs> it's making me feel better about my blender. So we cook this since it's brown rice. Oh, did you just put it on the rice cooker setting, or does it work? Uh, it does work, but I'm just gonna. Yeah, so 21 minutes for brown rice and about six minutes for white rice. So brown rice takes a little longer, unfortunately, but it's healthier. So we have these criminy mushrooms. These are actually from Trader Joe's. Pre-sliced, which is nice. Okay, so Mark put some lorry salt in there. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Um, chili powder. Chili powder. It's Salt is the other magic ingredient in here. Whole teaspoon. Teaspoon of garlic salt. Makes it yummy. Some fresh ground pepper. So we're putting in two cups of just spaghetti sauce. And then we're gonna get diced tomatoes. We actually found diced tomatoes at Costco and they're really good, which is nice. And then at the very end, we put in the cooked rice and the mozzarella cheese. We have to wait till we're all done with the other stuff. So we had a boo-boo. Anna was doing laundry, which is great, but we had some oxyclean. <laughs> Disaster. Thankfully we have a vacuum and uh, some other things to help us, but such is life. Mama's gonna sweep. <laughs> So we swept and vacuumed and wiped, <laughs> so the floor's clean pretty much almost all the way. And the rice is ready, so perfect timing. So we're measuring out the rice. It didn't quite cook as much as we wanted it to, but I think it, it the rest of the cooking will probably happen. Um, yeah, you can do it generous, because we do everything kind of generous. <laughs> That's how we get away with making one. So we're just putting the, putting the rice, we're putting it in the casserole dish. So we have our trusty, already grated <laughs> mozzarella cheese. And this is Mark's trick, he puts it in, it actually says in the recipe to put it in the pot, but if you put it in the pot, then your pot's all very um, hard to clean because it has cheese in it, which is hard to clean. So he's smart and he mixes it in because you're supposed to have some in the casserole and some on top of the casserole. Smart is very smart. 
Anyway, so it definitely has the taste of like stuffed peppers without the like, just there's so many like steps that go into making like actual stuffed peppers, which I love. I do love stuffed peppers, not gonna lie, but it's just a lot more work. So it's kind of like just the taste, but sort of cheating. <laughs> and most of the kids like it. Well, everybody likes it. It's just that Chloe sometimes removes the mushrooms. So now we just put a little bit on top. It has almost a lasagna-esque feel to it, but it has brown rice, which is really nice. Into the oven. And one, of her, one side of our oven cooks a lot faster than the other, so if we want to be in a hurry, we put it on the other side. I think actually probably what's going on is the other side. The left side is broken and the right side is working correctly, so we just have to, you know, you just have to make do with what you got sometimes. Um, so we're gonna cook that for about a half hour, right, Marco? Yeah. Yeah, half hour, and then it gets kind of bubbly and um, kind of brown, brown on the cheese on top and Jimmy. It's so, cool. so here is our stuffed pepper casserole. We probably let it cook a little too long for a little too hot, <laughs> but you can tell it's a uh, bubbly, cheesy goodness there. So my friends came back. What did you get, Moses? You got a baguette. So here's a baguette for tonight for dinner. Here's, thank you. Here's some tuna melts. Well, here's some English muffins for our tuna melts. They were out of those the other day. Thank you, Moses. Thank you, Noah. And what cereal did you pick out? Fruit Loops. <laughs> no way. Not exactly health food. Were they on sale? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so when you send your 11 year old to the store, you he may come back with free loops, but that's okay. We'll let it go. Wait, did you say a 13, an 11 year old? When you send a 13 year old to the store, he might come back with free loops. <laughs> Everyone is very excited about his cereal pick. They all want Fruit Loops instead of stuffed pepper casserole, <laughs> but they're gonna have to wait for. Um, Mama, says I want some of these first. Mama. But in Noah's defense, my dad did like Fruit Loops and tricks. I remember when I was a kid, me and my dad used to sit at the breakfast table together and we'd be eating tricks and Fruit Loops. My dad and I. My dad and I. Oh, he's. Thank you for correcting my grammar just then. My dad and I <laughs> used to sit like this is mid '80s at the breakfast table with some pretty robust boxes of tricks. And that's when they used to give you a free Starburst, like a whole pack of Starburst in your tricks. They don't do that anymore, <laughs> but it was cool. Okay. So what do you think, Noah? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. What kind of baguette did you pick out? I don't know. <laughs> There's like seeds on it, it's pretty good. We actually have a bakery at the oh, local wait. store, which is nice. It's called White Seeded Baguette. White Seeded Baguette, there we go. Everyone likes it. I popped it out. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Finally. I popped the thing. So here is the finished produit. It's really yummy. It has that stuffed pe pepper. Sorry, my baby tummy's showing. <laughs> um, stuffed pepper feel to it. Without all that stuffed pepper work. So it's good. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Yeah. Oh, you got your doggy? Yeah. You got the doggy that Popo gave you for your birthday. You ready to eat, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yay, howdy. So this is what we had on Friday night. It is the Jamie Oliver curry, and it's really, really yummy. It's gonna pop on the so, so we're browning the chicken. Here's all the onions and curry leaves, and just fogging up the camera. <laughs> and tomatoes. Ew! Chicken! 
So we're gonna put this coconut milk in there. Should we put all three cans, Marco? Uh, I got, I had to get three cans. I'm not sure if we need it all. I think so. Cause I'm tripling the recipe. Oh, I'm only doubling. <gasps> Daddy. Okay, well that's if okay. If I tripled it, this thing would be like off the top. Okay, Daddy. so just use what you think. <laughs> use, use coconut milk at your discretion. I love this one. Yeah, the kids love this one. Guys, come on. It's it's a bazillion o'clock at night right now. <laughs> Eating like the Spaniards. And the Greeks. Somebody said from Greece told me this. The Greek people eat late too. So the kids have eaten a lot of it, <laughs> but this is what it, most of it, this is what it looks like. It has a lot of onions and there's um, mustard seeds and it's getting foggy. <laughs> All sorts of good things in there. So this is the book it's from. It's from Happy Days with the Naked Chef. <laughs> I guess it's not him, it's the food that's naked. And this is the picture he's got here, but you can make, you can make fish or vegetarian, chicken. Um, yeah, there's lots of different um, iterations of it. Beautiful. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Saturday night. It's a crazy day today. Mommy goes on errands. Um, some of the kids go to pre-college Juilliard and Daddy takes them. So, <laughs> we have a simple meal. We're having our beans and rice and Mo's having a little fit, but that's okay. Thankfully, uh, Elijah's not having a fit. <laughs> We have good days and bad days around here. And Naomi is making donuts. I'm so excited. Her donuts are absolutely the best. Here are the beautiful donuts in waiting. <laughs> yeah, she made you a quesadilla. She's so sweet. <laughs> so this is what sometimes we also make quesadillas. I want the kids to have some beans with it, so that's my tortilla. I like them. Yeah, she likes. If they're not salted, they're not that good. Yeah, so we, yeah, we put salt and ginger in the beans. It makes them taste yummy. This pearl's so sweet. She made you a quesadilla. Yeah. That is nice. That, that. And she gave you some ketchup too, huh? That, that. Hot. We'll blow on it, okay? That, that. Nice. Beans and quesadilla. That, that. You're good at blowing on it now. <laughs> and here's one of my favorite salsas ever. It's the pico de gallo hot salsa from Trader Joe's. Super yummy. It's my beautiful burrito. <laughs> okay, here's my burrito. So, burrito time. Moses did not have a nap today, and that's why he's so fussy. He was over there falling asleep. Oh, yeah. He's Poor little guy. He fell like face first to the table, mm -hmm. but. Anyway, he's he's better now. He's tired. He's a tired one. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> he's like fighting that now, you know. Anyway. You want more? You're yeah. okay, Mo. My mom's right here. Difficile, difficile. Mommy, can I do sweet time? Um, yeah, you can do sweet time a little bit. Here's him. He's saying Rachel. He likes to do Miss Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> 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 Watching Miss Rachel. Did you have Miss Rachel, Moses? Rachel. Rachel. So Josiah finally came home. You were the concert master for your friends. Yeah, my friend Marco's uh, opera based on Shakespeare's Macbeth. Oh, so, that's cool. So yeah, he wrote the opera? He wrote, uh, so it's like an opera scene. So he's a composer and he um, needed people to play his thing for a uh, for recording as part of his school. So I was happy to help. Cool. Good job, Josiah. Went well? Yeah, yeah, it went pretty well. I'd say. Okay, that's cool. Good for you. Naomi's making her donuts, the dough rose, and then you punched it down. Yeah. So, she's an expert at all things baking. No. The kids are watching while she's in.
but that's too big. Yeah, that's too big. Your phone yeah, tape is good. Good to make the dough. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Are you gonna cook up the donut holes too? Yes, but these are really small. It's okay. I think they fluff out a little bit, don't they? Yeah. It's good. Doing it and making. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, Duncan. So deep boiling frying, you put them in boiling hot oil, it's kind of dangerous. She's used to such things. Wait, do you cook them in the oven? We used to have no, her help me make falafels. This has got to be easier than falafels. No. No, it's not easier Wait, than falafels. I mean, those falafels took forever. Just because there were so many. Yeah. I don't know. Falafels weren't hard. I think we just made too many of them. We have to make less. What do you think, Melody? Good. Is that cool? I know they will be good because that one time she made bagels, they were delicious. Well, these are donuts. No, these are donuts. Yeah, they're, they're, I know, they look I, like bagels. Oh, I know. Um, so what flavor are you going to make? Just quick Just sugar on them? Oh, glaze. Okay. Okay. Oh, yummy, yummy. That might be... That might be... Yeah, so this is basically the best we could find. But it's going to good use. See? So we're using it for covering our donuts. <laughs> He's got this dish towel to make so pretty. Yeah, they're a little overcooked. Yeah, we were waiting for this thing to be cooked. What in the world happened? Oh my goodness, it's like two donuts. It's a creative donut. Oh man. So here are the beautiful donuts. Sorry, we didn't have the thing ready, so that one burned a little bit. But here are the donut holes. It's been beautiful. So cool. She had a few issues that there was water in the oil and it was popping. And then, <laughs> that's really interesting. Yeah, they, they like separated. That's really interesting. Well, I folded over because it was too thick, but I guess I didn't roll it enough. Oh, okay. Little, just little. They smell good. Hopefully oh, they'll taste good. Mm, they look good. And then she made a little glaze over here. No. Is that, that the glaze? What is it? It's the glaze, but she needs to add more stuff. This okay. is obviously, this is a taste at this point. <laughs> okay, we're, we're working on it. We'll get the boats on that first. That's too bad. It's okay, you learn every time you do it. You learn something new. Oh, totally. Yummy. Those are looking so good. Yeah, even these ones that got a little overcooked look beautiful with the glaze, so the, the glaze hides a multitude of sins. Those are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I don't eat sweets, but I don't know. It's tempting. This is too hot. Mm, Why don't I put it in the glaze? Looking good. And this is from Sally's baking recipes? Yep. So good. <laughs> Everyone's looking. We're not supposed to eat them tonight because it's late, but everyone's getting hungry. Um, I wonder if it's supposed to harden because this isn't really hardening. Maybe I should have let them cool. Whatever. Now she's doing the munchkins or the donut holes. I don't know what you call them. They're so cute. Munchkins is Duncan. Yeah, that's what I think it's because Duncan calls them that. They're darling. Call. More donuts, and she's putting the glaze on the donut holes. Hopefully there's enough glaze. <laughs> the breakfast of champions. Not really. <laughs> Not really. We can pretend. We don't eat donuts that often. So welcome to Sunday. We are making a crock pot chicken and broccoli and cheese casserole. 
um, because it is church day and we cook the broccoli separately and then we add it in afterwards and it helps it just be really nice. Playing with your tools? Oh, wait. Uh, is this the right one? Oh yeah. I have one eye and I have my just stirring it in. Do you guys like this meal? Mm -hmm. I didn't try it. Okay. Anna was saying it tastes a little bit like fettuccine alfredo with chicken, so it's, it has that kind of feel to it. This is what it looks like when it's done. I think this would probably be a good like potluck meal. If you're into going to potlucks, <laughs> we don't have it been to many potlucks recently, but I don't know. I don't know if they have potlucks in New York, but, or New York City. I don't know if it's a New York City thing. But in the olden days, I used to go to potlucks, so this seems like a good like church potluck meal. Where's this? Is too busy over there. I guess <laughs> we had ice cream after church, so he's are you full from the ice cream, Mo? <laughs> But he'll eat eventually. He likes this. So there's also these beautiful donuts. These are all that are left. We had donut holes and donuts earlier this morning because you and me made them last night and everybody loved them. It's a big <laughs> donuts are always a big hit around here. So he's having homemade donut dessert with milk, of course. <laughs> Can't have donuts without milk. No one's got his donut and milk too. Are yeah, we finally eating with us, Moses? Yeah. Yay! Up the uh, I don't uh, that. Uh, that. Hey, don't spill it. There's a lot in there. Today, but you look cute. Wow! Hey guys, welcome to Monday night. We are making fettuccine Alfredo tonight. It's a simple, one of our simpler meals, but the kids really like it. And it's basically we actually use real. She loves it. <laughs> we use real Parmesan cheese, and we is it real? Grated that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's real. I mean, it's well, maybe it's not like okay. So maybe it's not like from the perfect region or whatever in. Italy, but it's like actually like a block of cheese. <laughs> I think you probably can use this stuff in the jar if you want to, but um, anyway, so this is, it's kind of a labor of love. It's heavy, uh, heavy whipping cream, or heavy, I guess heavy cream, right? Heavy cream and um, butter. Is there butter or, I guess it depends. Uh, butter and also some garlic in there. Moses, you're big. So Elijah's here. Yeah, yeah. Or pasta stash over here. Let's see, that's our Jalalo. <laughs> Which way we put our Jalalo pasta? Um. Anyway, so we're gonna co cook up the pasta, and we also use frozen broccoli. Let's find our frozen broccoli. Helps round out the meal, makes it green, um, and we just steam it in the steamer basket. So, yummy, yeah, yummy. So this is what we had for kind of our lunch slash dinner on Tuesday night. It is a quiche. So Elijah's taking it out of the oven. It's a really simple quiche. It has some spinach and cheese, a little bit of pancetta. It wasn't quite cooked all the way, so we're putting it in again. 